एवरी वन आई होप यू लाइक द वीडियोज ऑफ सिप कंस्ट्रक्शन सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लोड लाइन्स सो वॉट इज लोड लाइन्स लोड लाइन्स इज एक्चुअली अ मार्किंग इंडिकेट्स द एक्सटेंट टू विच द वेट ऑफ अ लोड मे सेफली सबमर्च अ शिप और वी कैन से इट गिवस अ सेफ डेप्थ फॉर अ शिप इन अ फुल्ली लोडेड कंडीशन बट दिस डेप्थ एक्चुअली वेरीज फ्रॉ अकॉर्डिंग टू शिप डायमेंशन uh the time of that year of that particular year the type of cargo the ship is carrying or we can say the density of water also so uh, the international convention on load lines was adopted on uh, 5th april 1966 and under this international convention of load lines load lines were assigned to the ships trading internationally or we can say engaged in, in uh, international voyage Uh, except the ships of uh, with length less than 24 meter gross tonnage less than 150 fishing vessels pleasure boats and warships these load lines are actually assigned by maritime authority of flag flag state or classification society authorized by the flag state the letters of uh, these assigning authorities uh, are cut on each side of load line disc this is actually known as load line disc this is a small diagram of load line we will discuss this we will go for it when we will go to the diagram of load lines so the letters of this assigning authorities are cut on both the sides of a uh, of a load line on both the sides of starboard and uh, sport side on the load line disc uh, they are painted white or yellow for dark background and black for light background so as we know that these load line marks are marked on the sides of the ship that is on we can say on the hull of the ship at the midship so the its background or we can say the hull if it is painted dark then uh, the markings are painted white or yellow and if the hull is painted with a light color then the markings are painted with black one more most important point that the upper edges of each load line indicates its exact level we will see this when we when we'll go to the diagram uh, that we can see that the diagram uh, in the diagram that the load line load and markings are actually 25 mm thick so the upper edge of that marking or we can say the top level the, the top line that is known as uh, that actually gives the exact level of that marking so this was a brief uh, about load lines now let's go to the diagram and make it more clear now we will see diagram of load line so this is how load lines are marked on both the sides port side as well as starboard side so let's start with deck line deck line is actually the line uh, actually this line uh, it measures 300 mm into 25 mm and it is marked uh, amid ships on the each side of the ship port side as well as starboard side and it is at the position where the deck plate meets the shell plate and it is uh, marked and fitted when the uh, vessel is built in the shipyard and it is a uh, essential requirement according to the load line uh, load line regulations uh we had also discussed about deck line in the video of ship dimension where we were discussing about freeboard freeboard was defined as the vertical distance between the top edge of the deck line vertically down to the water level so this is the uh, top edge of the deck line and vertically down to uh, distance vertically down to the water level is known as freeboard now exactly below the deck line we have plimsoll mark Uh, also known as load line disc this uh, load line disc having outer diameter 300 mm and thickness 25 mm and a horizontal line known as plimsoll line intersect at its half intersect at its half dim uh, its dimensions are 450 mm into 25 mm and the upper edge of this plimsoll line is the center line for this load line disc and the center of this load line disc is at the midpoint of this Uh, uh, upper edge of the plimsoll line and uh, as we were discussing earlier in the video about the let uh, marking of letters on both the sides of the lo load line disc for assigning authorities so these are the letters uh, marked on both the sides of the load line disc for assigning authorities for example we have uh, here we have ir which means indian register r similarly we have uh, different letters for different uh, flag state authorities the vertical distance between the top edge of the deck line and the top edge of this uh, plimsoll line is known as assigned summer freeboard now we can see 
uh, exactly 540 mm forward of the center of this plimsoll mark we have a vertical line of uh, thickness 25 mm having the horizontal lines perpendicular to it of length 230 mm and thickness 25 mm so let's discuss about these horizontal lines these horizontal lines are actually the zone markings uh, so first we will discuss about s s is for summer zone in summer zone a ship can be loaded up to the upper edge of this marking in salt water similarly for the tropical zone and similarly for the winter zone t is for tropical zone w is for winter zone and the height difference between the tropical zone and the summer zone from the top edge of the tropical zone to the top edge of the summer zone is 1 by 48 of the summer draft st means summer draft and similarly uh, the height difference between the top edge of the summer zone to the top edge of the winter zone is 1 by 48 of the summer draft uh, so these were in the forward of the vertical line so similarly we in the aft of the vertical line we have these two markings so first is f f is for freshwater zone and another is tf for tropical freshwater zone so in uh, the in freshwater zone a ship can load up to the uh, upper edge of this marking and uh, in the tropical freshwater zone the ship can be loaded up to the upper edge of this marking the height difference from the upper edge of this of the tropical zone tropical freshwater zone to the upper edge of freshwater zone is also 1 by 48 of the summer draft as we have discussed earlier in the video that the marking uh, the top edge of the markings gives the exact level that's why the markings are for are from the top edge now one more thing we have uh, one more marking that is wna uh, below the winter winter zone uh, wna means uh, winter north atlantic it is um, uh, it is marked with dotted lines because because it is only assigned to the ships having length less than 100 meter and it uh, uh, its upper edge is exactly 50 mm below the upper edge of winter zone now next is about freshwater allowance freshwater allowance is actually the height difference from the upper edge of the freshwater zone to the upper edge of summer zone uh, freshwater allowance uh, is actually defined as the increase in draft when a ship goes from salt water to the fresh water here you can see the freshwater zone uh, the marking of freshwater zone is above the uh, marking of summer zone so uh, if the ship will go from fresh water to the uh, sorry from salt water to the fresh water its draft will increase so uh, so fresh water allowance is uh, gives the increase in draft when the ship goes from fresh water to the sorry salt water to the fresh water or vice versa now the formula for fresh water allowance is uh, w upon 40 tpc where tpc means tons per centimeter and w means displacement of the ship now one more thing as we can see the markings to the forward of the plimsoll mark similarly we have the markings in the aft of the plimsoll mark so what's the difference you can see the difference here port side and starboard side actually uh, to the starboard side the plimsoll mark is drawn to the aft of the uh, aft of the uh, zone markings and in the port side the plimsoll mark is drawn to the forward of the zone markings and the deck line and the plimsoll marks are exactly drawn to the midships on both the sides so here we have discussed about the load lines i hope you will like the video so please click the like button share the video and subscribe the channel thank you